How's my little kitty friend? Everywhere I go, she she follows me. What do you want, buddy? I've been meaning to do this video for a long time. Let's do it. I'd like to apologize for the lacking quality in terms of both audio and video. I'm doing this all on my phone. And it's really all I got. It's the only option that I have that I can really think about. So, uh, best I can do. But I've been meaning to do this tour for a pretty long time. Because my setup and my whole room has changed significantly ever since the last tour that I did some years ago, I believe it was. So I guess we'll actually start with the bed over here. As you can tell by the title of this video, uh, I live in a small space and I have a full-size mattress. So the way I get around that is, phone, will you stop trying to focus? Stop it. The way I get around that is by during the day, I have the mattress propped up against the wall with the blankets and pillows over it, over it like this. It clears up space and also acts as more soundproofing. Uh, I was actually inspired to do this by uh, Jacksepticeye's old setup video when he had to end up doing this. It's stupid, but it gets the job done. Let's move right next to the bed where I have this little shelf with... I call it my tool shelf. I keep tools and just other small stuff there. These, uh, a piano stand and this little top that I made for my uh, close-up magic gigs, because I do practice close-up magic. And uh, of course, on top of that, I have my medication. The image is blurry, because I tend to worry. I'm never showing you my information. It's my private life, and you're not involved. So why am I showing you my medication? Over to the right of the bed over here is the drums and the audio setup for for all of that. Uh, when the bed is down, this dresser is right next to it and it keeps just things that I need on top of it. Chargers uh, for if I need to charge my phone overnight. This I have to wear to bed every night on my right hand uh, because I have wrist problems which came from uh, drumming and using bad techniques. Don't do that. Don't make the same mistakes I did. That over there, I didn't really have either, any other place to put it. That's where I keep uh, different magic props and the hat that I use. Um, to the left here, uh, these two little toys here, they're just toys that I've had since childhood. Uh, same goes with that stitch right down there where that cable box is. Um, oh, let's, let's go over the walls. Uh, Cash Banuka 4 poster and the camera, which I keep here, it goes right here in front of the drums while I'm streaming. Otherwise, it's just right here out of the way. These are kind of my prized possessions uh, because they are all memorabilia from when I got to meet Weird Al Yankovic. He is my hero. Uh, these are from 2018, and these are actually from this year, 2022, as I record this. It happened just a few months ago, and he's a great dude. And, uh, of course, I had to keep this over here, too. This mug, which was actually only available through V... As far as I know, you could only get this little cup here through the VIP package for the unfortunate return to the ridiculous he's held a On top of this, we have my uh, audio interface here and mixer, which is just for the drum setup. Uh, the drums themselves... It is a Roland TD 17 KVX, I believe. Very good kit. I used to use an Alesis DM10 Mark II Pro, which uh, which was really great. I, I do not believe in brand elitism at all. Um, the reason I switched over to this kit from the Alesis, because the Alesis kit was much bigger. And quite frankly, for living in a small space like this, I just didn't have the room to be able to have this layout facing the computer comfortably. And that's just what I prefer. So I upgraded in quality while also downgrading in size, going for uh, going for this kit right here. And I've had it for just a few months and I absolutely love it. 
Uh, it kind of sucks the symbols are smaller than what I like, but gotta make some sacrifices, you know? But overall, I really love this kit. It's, it's, it's really nice. And of course, we have the chair right over here. This is the Respawn 100. I got it in the mail just a couple days ago. My old chair, unfortunately, uh, kind of broke, which was also a Respawn chair. I really love their chairs, honestly. They're, they're, they're pretty good and they don't cost an arm and a leg. I actually saved the uh, head pillow from the old chair. Cause why not? It's still good, still a good pillow. I could, I'll probably find some use for it, but uh, this is the chair that I have now. Super cozy. Um, I absolutely adore it. Uh, but let's move this out of the way and go to the, go to the desk here. Uh, to the left of the desk is actually where all my consoles are. So we got PlayStation 5 here. This was a massive pain to get. I was not gonna pay a scalper, but I got one. Uh, new 3DS XL and Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, this is actually modded. I modified it, gave it a new shell and an IPS screen. This is the Game Boy that I had since childhood. I was eight years old when I got this. It was red and I gave it a new life. And God, it's so beautiful. I, I, I love it. So I keep those here. Uh, on the shelf here, the original Xbox. I've also had this since I was eight years old. It's, yeah, it's a little, it's quite dusty. I actually have to, uh, to clean it. And underneath that are just controllers that I keep here. And in this bag is a drawing tablet because I also draw from time to time. To the left here is this old thing. Now this used to belong to my stepdad. It's broken, it's, well not broken, it's just dirty and beaten up. Um, my stepdad used this as his desk for the longest time until I got him a new desk for his birthday a few years ago. And he just kind of gave it to me. So now I use it, uh, I, I just put it up here and I unfold it and Whenever I need the space, I have it right there, and it's just collapsed and against the wall and out of the way otherwise. I feel clever for coming up with that, honestly. Under the desk here is just a couple of drinks that I've uh, been going through today. This is not, I'm not sponsored by the way. Um, I just keep this around as a bin where I keep my snacks. <laughs> That's, it's, just, it's my snack bin. I don't know what else you want. A metal. Okay, let's actually get on to the main, uh, I guess the main battle station itself, the desk setup itself. It's, uh, I'm proud of this. It took me some years to save up and get this how I wanted, but it's almost perfect and I love it. The monitor, the main monitor is an HP 25X. It's a 1080p monitor, uh, 144 Hertz. I know that 4K monitors are a thing. I have used several 4K monitors before, uh, usually at the at like stores or, or you know friends who have had them. I never saw a difference between 4K and 1080p. I don't know if it's just me, but I've never been able to see a difference. So to me, a 4K monitor of this size just seems like a waste of money and a waste of resources. <laughs> I'm, I might be wrong, I don't know, but that's just, that's, just, that's just how I see it because of my own experiences. I really don't think a 4K display is useful unless you're gaming on like a 60 inch TV. Uh, tangent over, HP 25X monitor, the secondary one, I don't know what it is. I know it's an Acer, but I don't remember exactly what model it is. I had two of these ones and uh, the other one just kind of broke, so at the moment, this one is just a backup that I have. It's got, it's, it's a crappier monitor, but for a second display, it works. Behind that is an Elgato key light. These things, they get bright, like wow. And I actually learned this, uh, I think from watching one of PewDiePie's setup tours that if you have a white wall like I do, just point it to the wall instead and at max brightness, the wall is your lighting source. It spreads out the light much better. Uh, so that's what I do. Um, 
these here just add to the, uh, they both add to the aesthetics and the, uh, the sound dampening. Uh, they are the, these are the Elgato, um, wave panels. I can't find words right now. Elgato wave panels. If you can't tell, I have a lot of Elgato products, but we'll get to that. And above that is this. Uh, this is a picture that my good friend Intunist got me, I think at a convention. It was a Smash convention, I think. Uh, David, if you're watching this, please correct me, but Nintunist got me this, and I had it framed, and I've had it ever since. To the right, Guitar Hero controller, completely customized by uh, Fire Exit Man, uh, which I love. It's got uh, mechanical switches and the buttons and the strum bar. A, little, a new little thing right here. It's just a star power button, but it's nice. I like it. Back onto the desk on the left here, Stream Deck XL. Uh, my... Uh, PC controller of choice, the Hyperkin Duke, because I have big hands, so this thing is actually pretty comfortable for me. Uh, this here, I have it kind of like taped to the desk, but it's a Crash Bandicoot controller holder that was 3D printed for me by my uncle. It was a Christmas gift uh, either last year or a couple years ago. And a Rubik's Cube. It's, it's my favorite fidget toy. I can solve it. Uh, you can actually redeem points on my Twitch streams for me to stop what I'm doing and mix up the cube and solve it. And I just like messing with it from time to time. Uh, the keyboard and mouse, they're all Corsair. Corsair keyboard, Corsair mouse. I think, I believe this is a K95 RGB Platinum. The mouse, I have, I, I think it's a Glaive? If, if, it, if it's not a Glaive, I'll, I'll uh, correct it in editing, but I think it's a, a Glaive mouse. The mouse pad is from TechSource, which is a YouTube channel that I watch, and the channel that kind of inspired me to uh, actually put effort into my setup. I also have this pen. It goes on my drawing tablet, I keep it there. So below here is the, uh, it's an Amazon Fire 8 tablet that I usually use as a third screen while I'm streaming. Otherwise I have no need for it, I just have it turned off right now, it's charging. Uh, the speakers are Creative Pebble speakers, and I just have those next to the tablet. And that's what I use when I'm not using my headphones. I use my headphones most of the time. That's where the phone goes. And it gets charged. USB, uh, or a, a powered USB hub for if I ever need more USB stuff to be plugged in. OLED switch! I wanted to get a black one because the white one kind of stands out like a sore thumb, but they didn't have any left, so what can you do? The PC itself, I built this over, yeah, it's been just a little over a year since I built this with my friend Arlog. The video's up on my channel, because I recorded us putting it together. Uh, if I can remember exactly what's inside it, while well, I show you what's inside. Oh, oh it's a dir. It's a dir. My friend Rain. He sells stickers of his character, and so I bought one and I put it in my computer. It's just, it's kind of an Easter egg, I guess, a real-life Easter egg. When you're sitting here, you don't really see it until you look for it. Okay, back to back to the point. What exactly is inside the computer? Um, I'm gonna see if my memory is correct. I love this thing. It is a beast, and it does, it, it's just perfect for everything that I do. It, it does have to be dusted, I will say that. Um, I am planning on actually doing that. Of course, I have to show underneath the desk uh, how the cable management looks for the people who care about it. I don't know, I, I, I've, I've always been fascinated by cable management. I think it's fun, even though I'm not the best at it. So I turned that light off so I can actually show you without you getting blinded, but uh, yeah. That's what the cable management looks like. Most of the cables are running through this uh, little channel here that the desk came with. And out and plugged into a surge protector over here. Any excess is just kind of wrapped up. Uh, you know, things are, you know, cables go across and around. Um, it is a standing desk, so I have to leave some slack uh, with, with these ones. One of these goes to the desk and the other one is actually going into this one which the consoles are plugged into. So yeah, I'm not the best at cable management, but 
from here, it looks pretty dang good. And, uh, so that's good enough for me. A few things that I forgot to mention. The camera that you're looking at right now is an Elgato face cam. The microphone is an Elgato Wave 3. And the headphones are a, uh, what are they? Audio Technica ATH M50X. That's what these are. High quality headphones. Like, there is a reason why these are praised so much. I love them. So, yeah, there's the room tour for you. It's not much in terms of space, but you gotta, you kinda gotta work with what you're living in. And I think I did a pretty good job. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And hey, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. And hey, if you live in a small room as well, maybe this video could serve as inspiration. So, anyway, yeah, that's about it. See ya.